Hi everybody, this is Becky from Ballarat. I'm in my backyard and I have a question for you. When you think of nature, what colors come to mind? Well, I'd like you to try an activity today. It's called Nature Color Wheel. And it's gonna give you a chance to step away from your screen, slow down a little bit, and just get outside and start to notice the many colors that we have in nature all around us where we live. There's a few different ways that we can do this. Um, First of all, we do want you to stay close to where you live. Um, if you're going to walk away from your home, make sure you have an older sibling or adult with you. Um, this can be done in your backyard, on the street where you live. Maybe there's a park in your neighborhood. This can also be done by looking out an open window. And the way we're going to keep track of the different colors we notice, we can create a list we can sketch or draw pictures of what we see. We could take a cell phone with us and we could snap photos of what we see. Anything that is already down and dead, such as a rock or a stick or a pine cone, those are items that you can actually pick up and collect. Um, we wanna make sure that we are not picking or pulling anything that is living and growing. As you are doing your nature color wheel activity, don't forget to look up and look around and look down and maybe even get down low. You might be surprised how many colors you notice close to the ground, in the dirt even. Um, and also, I wanna be sure that you are looking for colors that occur in nature. So right behind me in my garden box, I have a very colorful garden spinner. And it's not natural, it's man-made, so I would not include that on my nature color wheel. The grass next to it, I would be able to include that. If you notice any colorful birds, animals, or bugs, you can include them on your nature color wheel. Some basic things you might need for this activity, your journal or notepad, a pencil. You might also want to include some colored pencils or crayons or markers. So as you sketch later, you can add color to your drawings. And the page in your journal can look like mine. You can do a real simple, basic color wheel. And I did leave my color wheel open on purpose. That's gonna be where you can add your drawings, your sketches, um, your descriptions about what you discovered, and any objects that you bring back. Um, you can organize them on your color wheel. So go try it. Go see what you see. What colors can you find out there? And let's meet back and share a little bit about what we discovered. How did it go? Were you able to find a lot of colors in nature to complete your color wheel? I'll show you what I found. Here's the page in my journal that I shared with you earlier. It's pretty full. Were you surprised you were able to find so many colors in nature right where you live? I added a couple of questions to my journal and I'd like you to do the same thing. As I was looking for these colors, I was wondering, why are flowers so bright in color? How would I, what words would I use to describe the different shades of blue, green, and orange? Were some colors harder or easier to find? As you can see, I didn't have much luck finding variations of blue. Luckily, we had a blue sky today. Are there any colors that we absolutely can't find in nature? I also wondered if the season or the weather or the time of day had been different, would I have seen different colors? Thank you for trying a nature color wheel today. We hope you try it again. This is a work in progress. So next week or next month or next season, go out and try it again. See what colors in nature you have right where you live. See you next time.